Team of the Season is finally here. If you're looking to get yourself any coins from the best supplier in town, check out my sponsor, FIFACoinZone.com, and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. We are starting this video off in a little bit of a different setting. We are currently on my Xbox account, and we are about to open my Eredivisie Tots pack. I would show you what I got on my PlayStation, but, well... <laughs> Yeah, uh, it was the cam. It was the really bad cam. I actually don't know the guy's name. It was like El Cahatri or something like that. I can't actually remember. It was bad. I was really hoping to get De Jong and Delates because I would have changed my team up for them. But yeah, sadly, we didn't get that lucky, unfortunately, this week. But we have it for my Xbox account. Probably going to get lucky on this account because I don't actually use it. So I imagine that it probably will be very lucky. Just how EA usually works, really. Let's see who we're going to get on this account, though. Go on. Be something decent. It's going to be Spanish, left back. Okay, it's not actually that lucky. It's uh, it's pretty meh. Um, Angelino. He actually might fit into my Xbox team. I've got a Spanish slash La Liga team on my Xbox. So you know what? That actually might not be the worst one. Um, he's got four-star skill moves as well. And not the worst of stats apart from his his low jumping and, and very small... Uh, stature. So he might not be bad. Probably not great. Let's go and episode squad battles rewards. All right then, lads. So we are on Omar's account now. Omar is a new person to the channel. Uh, I feel like we get new people every single week, though. So uh, massive shout out to Omar for letting me open his squad battles, squad battles rewards. Can't even speak. Uh, he got Elite One. What I'll do is I'll link his channel in the description because he actually has a YouTube channel, which you guys can go check out. Uh, he's doing a lot of different FIFA content and whatnot. So go check that out. He finished in Elite One squad battles, which means he gets 30,000 coins and two rare mega Packs. Let's see if we can get ourselves a team of the season uh, from the first set of Elite One Scott Battles Awards. Here we go. Come on, EA, please. Let's have a go. First one. Can it be a walkout in the first rare mega pack? No, it cannot. Bad start. Okay, please be bored. Not bored. Oh, no. Okay, it's a bad start. It's not a great start. I don't know why I hyped myself up so much there. I was expecting, like, team of the season Ronaldo in that pack, truthfully. But uh, unfortunately, it was in Zonzi. Close to Ronaldo. Maybe in terms of height, pretty much the only thing he's actually close to Ronaldo in. Actually, is he, is he even close to Ronaldo in terms of height? No, he's absolutely not. He's about three or four inches taller than Ronaldo. <laughs> okay, I was completely wrong there. I'll send all the rest of the transfer list just so they're not wasted. And uh, we'll open the second rare mega pack now. Come on, EA, please. Elite one squad battles rewards. Make it worth it. No walkouts. Please be aboard at least. All right, we'll go aboard. Not the end of the world, I guess, but not amazing. Spanish goalkeeper, Asensio. The better of the Spanish goalkeepers. 84 rated, not bad. I don't actually know how much he goes for on, like, on Xbox. I've, uh, I'm not really in tune with the Xbox market, I'll be honest with you. I uh, I don't really pay much attention. So what are 84 is currently going for? Okay, he's about 6,000 coins. That's actually decent. That's actually really, really decent. So we'll store all these on the transfer list. Like I said, massive shout out again for Omar for letting me open up his rewards. Uh, big shout out to him, mate. Very much thanks doesn't make any sense but i appreciate you brother like i said link in the description if you guys want to go out and check his uh his youtube channel out there's what his team looks like pretty decent team let's go and open david squad battle rewards now now it is time for david squad battles rewards the rewards we open every single week i'm not even tired i don't know why i'm slurring my words so much i'm literally not even tired and i'm like slurring all of my words I'm not entirely sure what the problem with me right now is i think i've just got a headache from from a weekend league hangover which by the way i ended in 17 and 4 how have you guys done in weekend league this weekend i decided at 17 and 4 i thought last week i bottled it at 17 and 4 what is the point in me playing on and just having a horrible horrible experience so i was like we're just gonna end it at 17 and 4 we're just gonna chill and we're just gonna leave it at that and uh, i've ended it at, at 17 and 4 now uh, i don't know what dave's team is currently looking like where is it it's this one i think okay he's changed his team up a little bit he got Dieni in red or Dieni, um who looks like a beast card um, he's got a three battle formation now. I'm not entirely sure what he changed to in game, but looking decent. He's got the SBC William, uh, Willems. I keep, I always call him Willems Dumfries. I'm sorry. Dumfries. I always call him Willems because, uh, I think it was last year or the year before Willems had a really OP card. So it's just the Dutch in the OP card gets to me. Anyway, we've got two rare mega packs now to open now for day's rewards. Come on, EA. I really hope they are better than the last two rare mega packs we opened because they were pretty bad. The first one is going to be a board. Can it at least be an 85 player? No, it can't. It's going to... Yes, it can. Okay. Yes, it can. I thought it was going to be Kolarov. It's going to be Milinkovic Savage. That's actually a decent start. Not quite the um, the Syria midfielder we're looking for. Obviously, Rajan Eingolin would have been very nice. But I'll take a Milinkovic Savage. That's not bad at all. An 85 rated player there. And an 83 rated Subasage. That's actually a really good pack for squad battles. It's actually really good. Uh, any expensive consumables? No. We've got Neves in there. Uh, Neves. Neres in there as well, though. Um, 
I am going to be, unfortunately, putting myself through completing that objective tomorrow. So, uh, yay, I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, rare mega pack number two. Come on, EA, please make it, at least one of these walk out. No walkout in this one either. So sadly, it's two Elite One rewards with no walkouts. But we've got another board. Could be another 85. It's going to be Brazilian goalkeeper. It's going to be Neto. It's not too bad, I guess. 84 rate. Right? We'll take that. But unfortunately, it is not a walkout. So uh, I guess an 85, an 84, and at least one 83. Maybe more? Yeah, two 83s is not too shabby there, to be fair. I'm pretty sure 84s on this console are going for a pretty penny. So... Uh, not too bad, but unfortunately, not exactly the rewards we were looking for. Now, I do have some rewards on my account. We're going to quickly jump over there and have a look at those as well. So let's go. And we're on my account now. We're going to end it off with some top 100 squad battles rewards. No, I'm just kidding. It's silver one. Uh, we finished in silver one. There wasn't even a foot swap deals player up for grabs, and I didn't realize there wasn't. I really did think there was a foot swap deals player up for grabs. Uh, but unfortunately, there wasn't. What's the team looking like? Okay, that's a nice team. Right, let's go ahead and open up these rewards. Now, uh, like I said, I finished in uh, gold two. I uh, got to 17 and four and then gave away my last uh, nine games. I mean, I played them really. I, I, I tried my best and unfortunately just got outplayed. So, uh, yeah, we... Uh, we finished uh, on 17. So I'm just going to stay in gold too. I just didn't want to ruin my evening because of it. And uh, I tell you what, I've actually had a pretty decent Sunday because of it. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, like I said, let me know how you guys are doing. I wouldn't advise playing squad battles because I just don't see the point. Uh, not sorry, squad battles. Uh, weekend league past, you know, sort of gold two. Unless you're a good player and you know you're going to absolutely batter everyone. I personally wouldn't recommend it because I just don't see the point. I feel like everyone gets very similar reds, whether you're in gold two, elite three or higher. I feel like everyone one's reds are almost identical every week so who really cares to be honest you know that's why i just thought i would stay at gold two and worst case scenario right i get myself like a delict in a red or something like that maybe not a delict but you know what i mean like worst case scenario i'd, I'd get myself some pretty bad reds and maybe one half decent one i don't even know who knows you know maybe we pat ronaldo this week maybe this week is the week we are the ones that is that guy that got gold two and got team season ronaldo so hopefully we'll have to see but uh those two 15k packs were not very good for me sadly to round off the video we're not good at all very disappointing, in fact. I'm going to be an absolute mad lad and open up two 50k packs to end off the video. Mainly because I'm pretty sure we don't have 10 minutes of content yet. But we've got a walkout, so that's good. It's not a blue, though. Ugh. Bittersweet. It's going to be Polish. It's going to be a goalkeeper. Of course, it's not going to be Lewandowski. It's going to be Chesney. I'll take it, though. An 86-rated Chesney is not too bad. I'm guessing the Serie A SBC is probably going to be roughly around an 85-86 rated squad just because of Ronaldo. So it'd be nice to, to have that Chesney for the potential SBC incoming because obviously I don't have access to the market. Blah, 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 blah. You've heard this story a thousand times. But a Chesney and a Muller is actually a sick pack. That is a sick pack. I am very, very happy with that. That is actually a really, really good pack. I am I am thoroughly, thoroughly happy with that pack. Let's go. All right, we've got one more 50k pack to open. Can we get back to that walkouts? That would make it three in two packs. No, we cannot, sadly. We're going to get a board at least. I would have liked an inform there, to be honest. I need informs in the club, to be honest. The, the one thing I feel like I'm running out of all the time is informs. So informs would be nice in the club. And I'm also running out of transfer list space here. So, uh... I'm going to have to go through it and check who I've got in the club already and who I don't and store the players I don't and whatnot So uh, to make some space up on that transfer list. Because obviously I can't sell anything, but I would like to keep players that... Uh, that I... Um that I uh, that I that I can't sell for future SBCs and whatnot. If worst case scenario, I'd never get unbanned. Uh, but let's open up this last uh, the last 250 points, and I'll show you what I mean by the way in terms of my transfer list. Let me quickly get this pack opened and out of the way real quick. Da -da -da -da. We don't care. A thousand coins. Now let me actually quickly show you what my transfer list looks like. So I've got a load of players that are like 85s, 84s, 83s. Um, I've got a team season Dumfries that I packed who is a, a duplicate tradable. Um, again, loads of more 85s, 84s. Oh, do I already have this guy? Yeah, I do already have that guy. That's well annoying. Okay. Um, so just it's just going to be a case of I've got to sift through all these players and figure out who I've got, who I don't have, who I can store, and who I can uh, keep on there. For if I use these guys in SBCs and I can refill the club, obviously, because I can't buy players, I can then refill the club with more 84s that I've just used and whatnot. And you're probably wondering, why, why are you still buying FIFA points if you've been banned? Like, they have just absolutely mugged you off and you're still giving them money. If it wasn't my job to make content and it wasn't my job to invest FIFA points into packs to make content, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. I actually wouldn't be playing this game right now if it, if, if it wasn't my job. If I got wrongly banned and it wasn't my job... I would stop playing FIFA entirely. I would put it down. But unfortunately, 
I'm in the awful position that it is my job. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you. I, I love my job. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love my job. And I love the fact that you guys have changed my life over the last year. So I'm very grateful for that. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you later.